morning. Good morning, teachers. We are on live now. Give you a couple more minutes to sign on. We only have two people on right now. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started now that we have more people on. So, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. You have heard that I, it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Again, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, do not take a false oath but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all. Let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The gospel of the Lord. Okay. Praise be to God. The school prayer. We ask you, Lord, to direct all of our actions and to carry them out with your help so that all that we do may begin with you and by you be successfully completed. Be it known to all who enter here that Christ is the reason for this school, the unseen but ever-present teacher in our classrooms, the model for our faculty, and the inspiration of our students. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mission statement. Our Lady of Guadalupe is a Catholic school community dedicated to instilling Catholic character, to strengthening academic excellence, and to empowering students to serve others. Confident in the love, protection, and guidance of God through the intercession of Mary, our Mother. Please face the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please face the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. 
I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. You may be seated. So good morning, Eagles. It is February 12th, National Clean Out Your Computer Day. I know I have to do that, so today's a great day to do so. Let's give a big birthday shout out to the following students who are celebrating this week. We have Catalina Torres, who's celebrating it on the 13th, and Noah Herrera, who is celebrating on the 15th. I hope you have a great birthday. Moving on to some things that you need to know. Monday at 10 a.m., the students and staff choir will be practicing. Tuesday at 2.30, you will have your Valentine's card exchange. Remember, while we're practicing kindness for SEL, we are keeping in mind that if we bring a gift for one person, we have to bring a gift for everyone, okay? At 4.30 p.m., the girls have an away basketball game at St. Francis de Sales. Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, so we have mass at 9 a.m. And Christus will be doing their hygiene, health hygiene presentations that day. Friday, progress reports go home. Um, teachers, be sure to check your emails and weekly announcements. And then Ms. Ortiz will be stepping in for a few more announcements. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hope everyone had a restful weekend. This weather has been a bit crazy these days. Uh, now it's nice and breezy. I mean, it's very windy. I know for those of you who drove in or had a, a long distance commute, I know the car was a little bit shaky this morning with the wind. Um, and last week, of course, rain. So uh, just be sure to have the proper attire and teachers remind uh, parents if we're not seeing jackets, because now the weather has dropped and it's gonna be a little bit cool for the next couple of days, just remind uh, parents about jackets. Um, I do want to thank everyone. Man, a Saturday, those for you that came out, those of you that came out, we had a great turnout on Saturday at Steps for Students. I want to thank every teacher, every staff member that was present. We really appreciate your support. Um, it does not go unnoticed um, as it does take a, a village, you know, and I will never give myself credit for any of that. Uh, I would all, you know, I mean, it takes a, a team effort and I couldn't do it without everybody's help from parents, teachers and staff. Uh, you are amazing. We got a lot of compliments. I, I got a ton of compliments from like pastors from other schools and other people were approaching our tent, uh, asking about our, our campus and uh, well, how do we do this? Like, you know, they're asking me like, how do you, how do you do to get so many people here? How do you get how do you raise that much money? And so I did a lot of collaboration on Saturday with a lot of people that were just in awe of just what we're doing at Guadalupe. And um, like I said, um, I mean, I don't have any words to describe. Um, I mean, I get very emotional because I do love this campus. And um, I mean, it, I'm just a proud, very, very proud principal to know how, how many people help and support. And I, I just, Committees are the key and your time, you know, when you help plan and uh, events and um, we truly appreciate it because I mean, I surely couldn't do it alone and I can't give myself credit, uh, you know, or just to Katie because it takes, like I said, a, a commitment from all of us and dedication and uh, you show up with smiles. And so this is just a big shout out to everybody who was on the steps committee. Uh, thank you very much. You know, um, as some of you may have been your first time seeing what it takes. I mean, from morning setup to taking down, um, it, it takes a lot of work, but we were done and out of there and got a lot of compliments. So thank you to the all students that showed up. Um, you know, uh, you had a great time. I saw a lot of y'all run and participate. So thank you. Thank you. Um, now we're going to be moving on to the uh, gala, guys. This is like these two event students, those of you um, that have been with us for a while, we'll keep saying gala or steps, and now we're big, moving on to our biggest fundraiser of the school year. I mean, like that's our, the two biggest items on our school budgets. And so um, we're wrapping up steps, um, but we're not done doing the incentives because I, I know we're going to be going bowling if you, you and I. Uh, those of you that have reached a certain amount of money will be taking you out bowling, and then we're going to recognize the top um seller i mean not top month the top person that actually 
raise the most funds is going to be recognized as well. So um, thank you again to, to everyone. Uh, moving on to the school gala. I know uh, Katie has been sending out a lot of information. If you need if you need to reach out to her, if you're on the committee, uh, I would reach out to her because now we're transitioning there. So those of you that are on that gala school committee. All right, moving on. Today is going to be a busy Monday because we have a lot of great things. We're always, you know, love showcasing our campus. This Saturday is the baseball game. Those of you that love baseball like I do. Um, you are all invited to come out to the Rice Stadium. Tickets are $15. Ms. Watso has been sending out that link uh, to the family, so hopefully we'll see a good turnout of faculty, staff, and students, or, and your friends. You're welcome to invite your friends. We are going to ask everyone to wear their spirit shirt or, or something maroon so that we can pop while we're out at the stadium. The game is at 2 o'clock on Saturday. Um, it is the Rice uh, versus uh, Norton Dame, so and the Cardinals supposed to be out there, and I believe our superintendent may be also um, on the field during the national anthem. They're going to also let students uh, that are part of Catholic schools run the bases, I think, afterwards or before. There's a whole schedule, so it's a lot of excitement this Saturday. So on that note, I know we have choir members that will be uh, from our school that are going to be singing the national anthem, which I'm really honored that you will be doing that. Um, we also have uh, staff members that are going to be helping out too. Today there is a practice. We're going to try to bear it because it's outside. And uh, the reason we're doing outside so that we can see how loud. When you sing outdoors, it's very different than it is indoors. So um, if it's not too cold, we're going to have this practice at 10 a.m. outside. I know Mr. Maldonado is going to be setting up. So we will be getting coverage for the individuals that are actually going on Saturday. So we're coordinating that as we speak. And I will let you know, somebody will be in your classroom so that the staff that are going to be seeing and have coverage during that time. So it's at 10 o'clock. We'll call the students and everyone when we're ready. We're just going to be setting up and just know that you will be covered by someone, whether it's me or someone on staff, to just for 30 minutes. The practice is 30 minutes. So from 10 to 1030 will be a choir practice for that group. Also, uh, student council today, uh, members who are in student council, I know some of you are like either in choir or you're in basketball or um, anyways, we have uh, today at 3.30 so that everybody can get a chance to help out. Uh, we're going to ask that student council meet in the library um, and at 3.30. So right before uh, we start carpool, if you can uh, gather in the library with Ms. Farley. Um, they're going to be working on those candy grams until five. Um, and then that way it allows basketball or anybody who's in extracurricular activities like choir, if you're doing another practice at four o'clock, you may go to those things at four o'clock so that we you can get a full hour. Um, and then thank you to Ms. Farley and the student council that are putting together these candy grams for Valentine's for tomorrow. Um, Let's see, again, girls basketball game uh, tomorrow. Good luck to them. This is our last game of the season. It is away. And then like Miss Oliva mentioned, Ash Wednesday Mass is Wednesday at 9 a.m. Um, so uh, we'll call choir down at a certain time to come down because I know there's a mass before the 9 at 7 a.m. So uh, that way we can transition and, and make sure we're ready for Ash Wednesday. Teachers who are new to our campus, or, uh, or maybe just this is your second year here. This is just a reminder that um, make sure your students use the restroom before they go because the mass is a little different now. It's at nine. So just make sure everybody gets their uh, restroom break. It is going to be a little bit longer than usual because of the distribution of ashes. So just keep that in mind. And yes, on Wednesday, we also have uh, Krista's Health is going to be here um, with... Um, a few extra hands. It's not going to be just Miss Maritza. It's going to be some other individuals from Christus. They're going to be doing some uh, presentations on personal hygiene. I will uh, put out the schedule today in the uh, announcements teacher so that you know what time um, your class is going to be um, getting this presentation. So I'll have a schedule ready uh, today for you so that you know what time on, on Ash Wednesday. Uh, it is more for the upper grades, not lower school. It's more like intermediate upper grades. Uh, let's see, progress reports are going home on Friday. I know um, those of you uh, parents that came out, your parents that came out didn't get a chance to get a copy of that progress report. So they are getting an uh, email to them this uh, Friday. 
students. This is a progress report is um, really just saying how, how you're doing right now. If you know that you're struggling or need to work on certain things, you still have time before it hits the permanent record, which is the report card. Once it's on the report card, it is considered a permanent record. So um, continue to work hard and get the, your work turned in so you can do well. We are going to be having a, an awards assembly, and I apologize that that is not on the calendar yet. Um, as soon as I can coordinate with Ms. Thompson, if not, I'm going to just go ahead and put a date on the calendar so that we can recognize all the students for the second quarter report card. I mean, uh, we did an awards assembly for the first quarter, and we owe those students who worked really hard the second quarter for their um, uh, award, you know, at the awards assembly. So we will get that on the calendar this week so that we can invite parents and get these uh, certificates prepared for the awards assembly. Um, spring performance, that's another date, very important date that's already on the calendar. Uh, those of you who are on the spring performance committee, Ms. Oliva, Ms. Martin, and Ms. Chavaria, and myself, and Ms. Watson will be meeting today, sometime today, to uh, get this all uh, squared away uh, so that we can give you more information and details on what that looks like, teachers, so that we can begin practicing. Also, this is exciting, guys. On Monday, for you, it's exciting because there is no school. It is President's Day, so it's a student holiday, but it is a teacher in-service day for our faculty and staff. Uh, teachers I have not received anything from the diocese normally by now would have received something so that uh, you have the details as soon as I get them I will be sure to send those details out I'm assuming we're going to be getting them maybe today or sometime this week so that you know what where to go and, and uh, where to be at uh, so I don't have those details yet so I'll get those out to you soon and I believe oh one more thing on Saturday eighth grade or even seventh graders that are discerning like where you want to go to high school I know most of you have probably decided or maybe are still unsure. Um, for sure, seventh grade, uh, St. Peter's is having an open house on Saturday. On Friday, I am going to their blessing and ribbon cutting because it looks like they're now going to be opening the doors real soon to the school that they've been uh, renovating and adding. Um, and so Friday, I'll be there for the blessing. But on Saturday, they do have an open house in the morning. Um, so those of you that are going to the, uh, you know, if you're going to Rice, you might be able to go early in the morning to their open house and head over to the Rice Stadium. Or, um, but I just wanted to put out that information that St. Peter's is, they'll be, able, you'll be able to tour the new campus. So that's nice if you're interested uh, in St. Peter's. I believe that is all my announcements. Again, thank you, thank you to everyone for your all your hard work uh, with Steps for Students. God bless. Have a beautiful and wonderful day. And I will be around pretty visible this week. Uh, Ms. Thompson is not here today. So I will be in, in and out of classrooms throughout the day today. All right. Have a good one. God bless.